All right, welcome back. Here we are bright and early, and we're up early because we are gonna chase some ice. First ice that is for us, 22-23 ice fishing season is upon us. We heard some reports of a lake with some safe ice. It's just up the canyon, not too far from my house. And so we're gonna give it a shot. This is gonna be a trout game. Rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, maybe some tiger trout, hopefully some big ones on camera for you. So stay tuned, priority one fishing, and we're gonna go do some ice fishing. We're recording. Look at that. <laughs> A little bit of ice fishing. Well, I thought if we have enough service, I've thought about doing like a live stream, like how-to video. Yeah, you should. You should just and like it. literally you... call our shots. You know, catch fish on command. Yeah. So yeah we're gonna drop it down right now. We're gonna have a fish on in about 15 seconds. Oh, All there right, we go. Right, there he is. Right, right. <laughs> those are lifesavers on the stumble. Yeah, those are awesome. These they're are goat skin. Amazing. Yeah, they're not that bad. They're like. Uh, 69 bucks. I fish with them too because they're so easy to get off your hands and back, you know, back <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I Boom, throw the glove and you're landing yeah, the fish. Yeah, they're awesome. I, I need to get me so much winning gear. Yeah. Mitts. That's the way to go. Mitts tell you. the way to go. It's, that's the, my fingerless. Mitts are the way to go. The fingerless ones are fingerless and then I... Um, yeah. Do a couple of somersaults. You'll be good. Gotta, yeah, it's all right there. The yellow ones. Yeah. Throw one around my neck. Oh yeah, single file. Ooh. Yeah, it's not a lot of ice right here anyways. Alrighty, should we drill a hole? What was that? Four inches. Four inches. Oh, that's like money. Pretty steep drop off. First ice. How about that? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Out here playing with the crowds. First. Oh, we got a fish on the bottom. Drop it down a little bit. Oh, he's on me. Got him. <laughs> that's a good sight. Nice rainbow. That's a way to start it off. Pretty healthy little rainbow. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, a little lipless crankbait, a little ripping shad. Get him out. Oh, you got a fish on you. He's all over you. <laughs> Beautiful little rainbow. Look at that. Oh. That was pretty classic for that, uh, that rainbow where he came in from. He came in off of this uh, kind of shallow slope area. They were sitting in about 13 and a half feet of water right on the edge of a drop off. Good rocky bank, kind of an extended point. 
a little bit of a transition right here. And uh, yeah, he slid right out of that shallower water. Though so far we've seen most of the fish come in out of the deeper water it looks like, but they are coming fairly close to the bottom. But that could change once we get a little light coming through the through the ice. Ooh, there he is. He's all over me. Ooh, that's a big fish. <laughs> He's still kind of thinking about it. That fish, I think, came parallel. Like, slid down uh, right on the edge of the bank, parallel to the bank. Right now, I've got the uh, pan optics kind of shooting perpendicular to the bank. Okay. Kind of see if we've got fish coming out of that deeper water or shallower water, but the way that fish just appeared, he uh, came par parallel to the bank. <laughs> so. It's kind of neat because this uh, pan optic system, the cones are completely different. The cones are almost like a slice of the water column. It's very narrow this way where I've got it set up right now, but we're actually scanning about eight feet off each side of the holes. Uh, vibration on this thing should call some fish in pretty quick. Okay. Old guy was a greedy little guy. He's like, Suck it. I am going to eat it. I got some. There he goes. I saw that hit. Saw that hit. Slow lift. Slow lift. Nail him. Your tra drag's way loose. Can you tighten it? I might have a tiger. Hold on. Pull my sister out. Or not. He just decided to jump out of the hole. <laughs> Hold on. Get the rod up. There you go. Hold on, now you're loose again. Okay. Still loose. Anders, you missed it. This fish jumped out <laughs> of the hole. And then back in. And I have a tiger! Yep. Little tiger. He's not little. That's a pretty good tiger. Come on. Oh, come on, eat it. There he is. That one's got some weight to him. Another fish, too. There's a good rainbow. You got one on you, too. Beautiful fish. Still, uh, it seems they want this call bait. I mean, you got one on the tungsten, right? I did get one on the tungsten. That's oh, just that brass tungsten. That's what I typically go with when we switch to tungsten. I usually go dark colors or metallics. Especially with this much light coming through the ice. Because it uh, tends to throw that profile a lot better for those fish. Just respond to it. Got him? Hey! Nice uh, cutthroat. A yep. That's a cutty. There he goes. Yay. Awesome. Well, he didn't like it. I think it's uh means it might be time to change up. Yep, bring it up to him a little bit. Get him. Ooh. That looked like a good one. Nice. That's a nice tiger. Look at that. New big fish of the day. 
Did you get him? Yeah. That's a good tiger. Yeah, man. He come from right underneath the ice cap. Did he? Yeah. Uh, he did that. Yeah, he... <laughs> and he comes straight down on it. I yanked it up and it, as it was dropping, he freaking... <laughs> well, maybe we won't change you. Do you need the human stats? We have like oh, there he is. Explosive. Fish. Oh. Got him. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, he felt good. Yeah, he is good. Work your way out, fish. That's a long one. That's a good size. That's a long one. Yeah, keep swimming, dude. It's <laughs> definitely going to get you places. Do you have the hemostats? They're on the chair. Oh, he's got big ol' sound. Are you sure with him? Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Is there a time of day here that it, like, dies out? Um, or is it just kind of all day? It depends. I mean, uh, right now the fish are in, a, like, a fall pattern. Are uh, what? They're still in a fall pattern. So they're still cruising. There's still plenty of food down there, plenty of oxygen. So they're they're still running that same pattern. And when that water temp gets, you know, consistently in the low, you know, to upper 30s and stuff so like that, like we're, like we're seeing right now, yeah. they will stay uh, pretty active until you start to see first the oxygen drop off and then the food deprivate, you know, the food um, sources will start to drop off. And so they'll stay active. I mean, all day long in the fall. So you can uh, generally catch fish pretty uh, pretty consistently throughout the entire day. There are times that are better than others. No, any of those uh, transition points, you know, and those fish really make those moves towards like a sight predation or a sensory predation. Oh, see on you. Get him. Hold on, you're stuck on the ice edge, aren't you? There's a nice, nice cutthroat. Look at that. Oh, it popped right out. Look at that. Oh, I got a fish on mine. I could have lost my rod. <laughs> oh, right there. That's okay. My drag is a little bit loose. That's a pretty good sized fish right there too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I come over here and I'm, like, I'm seeing this little thing swimming off and I'm like, where's my jig at? You're like, wait. Pick wait, up wait. the rod and there he is. I got him on the silky. Little uh, fire tiger silky. And a fire tiger drop jig. Drop XL. Trying to imitate a uh, small crayfish pattern. So we saw a whole bunch of small crayfish way up in, like right on the edge of the bank. And uh, a little bit of the movement of the, the silky strands there. And I'd be to say, uh, give us a uh, really good imitation of the crayfish. I think that one might have been the biggest one of the day. I think so. That was a big fish. That's a pretty good size fish, 17 inch or so. That's pretty fun. Did you scoop out your hole at all? Where Woo! Oh, right there. You caught it on the fall. Nice little rainbow again. Another rainbow. Didn't even hit the bottom. He grabbed it on the fall. Nice. I think that fish maybe thought it was a crayfish or something. <laughs> that was the goal. Need some snow. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right. First ice, just getting off the lake. 
been an awesome day. Hopefully you like some of that uh, video footage that we have for you there. Uh, some nice tigers, some cutthroat, quite a few rainbows. Awesome day for first ice. Remember, if you're getting out on first ice, take safety precautions, wear your picks, uh, make sure you're going with a buddy. Uh, ropes, uh, we use spud bar. Uh, we spud barred our way all the way out there. We found a spot that was, oh, maybe two inches thick and had to kind of reroute around it. But good four and a half, five inches of ice. And it's just gonna get thicker from here. So stay tuned if you like our videos. We got a lot more of them coming. And uh, check us out on our new website, uh, priorityonefishing.com. Uh, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so you can get all these awesome videos that we're gonna be putting out and see some of the other videos we have on the uh, channel as well. So a little winded, <laughs> just uh, walking back off the lake. So stay tuned again. Uh, awesome, awesome time of the year. I mean, we love this. I uh, can't get enough of it. Thank you for watching our videos. And as always, tight lines.